All right, so we have this almost candle flame. It's not quite realistic yet. Um, what do we want to do about that? I think the velocities need to change. Right now, they're too steady. So it's going to be a minimum velocity of 0.25 and a maximum of 0.5. And suddenly it starts to look a bit more irregular. We could put a little bit of spread back in, say five. Uh, we could also put in well, tangential work. Let's try it. Can I just su can I suggest some colors for a quote unquote Absolutely. realistic candle flame? Mm -hmm. So if we go to our gradient here, if we start it off of like a a, a deep purpley blue. Sure. And then getting brighter in the middle, like we've got, and then maybe out to a. Uh, a deeper red towards the end rather than an orange and of course we can move that slider or add an extra color in to i mean sure i like that um one thing i might do is put in a bit more randomness here <laughs> that, that 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 order was the the other way around but it's actually worked out really awesome don't change it's it nice, it's awesome it? don't, don't touch it no uh, 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 <laughs> you said blue at the bottom orange at the top that's what i've done um it's awesome i like it it needs a little something like this is the point where i start tweaking to see you know i think they're they're spreading out a bit too much at the top yeah so this angle isn't actually the solution we want um we could add in more of a radial thing but that's just going from the center that doesn't help us let's try linear acceleration remember some of these settings this would look amazing on a mag racer coming out the back of it it would <laughs> velocity, no you know what? I think turbulence is the answer. Let's just put in some turbulence. But I want to put in very little turbulence. Little, little turbulence. Teensy, teensy turbulence. So let's say point 0.1. Nope, come back. <laughs> Noise strength of point 0.1. Jelly says purple. It needs purple. There's purple there. No. More purple. Now, don't forget the colors you're picking here are not actually what's going to show on screen because we're adding them, right? Like, if you want them to look like that, you'll have to put a light source in, like so, on the light. And let's move you to here. And then we can go back to our flame and make it shaded. So it actually takes light information. You don't want light information for a... Um, for an actual for a light source like a flame but if you did you'd end up with something that looks a bit more like i mean th this would be great for for instance something emitting smoke and you're coming past with a flashlight mm -hmm. <laughs> i like it so these are the kinds of steps we'll do now when i'm making a, a torch flame i'll tend to go with a lot more of these particles so then let's do that let's undo the last few changes and take our light away And let's turn this into 64 is fine. One second. Uh, and let's increase our velocity. So let's say minimum velocity of one, maximum velocity of two, maximum velocity of five. And let's get rid of our randomness we don't want that at all our explosiveness rather we want a constant and let's bring back our fire colors oh nice so it's a bit more like a jet plane than anything else because I've got the speed and the lifetime set that way. Um, if I set this to two seconds as opposed to a one second, we'll get a slightly different reaction, but, but you get the idea, right? Now, if you're doing this with fire, what you really need is a light source in your fire. Like uh, so. so you've got a stable bit. Well, the way it breathes is light. Let me put in a mesh. Oh, yes, of course. If you're in a room, you would need it actually to have a light source in it. 
correct yeah so let's say we've got this lovely box here if i don't have a light here let's bring in a work light if we don't have a, a light here this doesn't actually read as fire right for this to read as fire we want to do something like this with some shadow uh and we might make this a little bit bigger there we go and this will now start reading a bit more as fire that two seconds was a mistake wasn't it let's let's put that back to 0.75 so okay, that's how I would do something like a torch. Let's check how we do it for time. Oh, actually way slower. <laughs> Stable diffusion. <laughs> okay, 